Hey there, everybody. PT Pop here, all for lobes in my brain. Securely bound behind my back, and tomorrow is D Day. I go back to work in a call center. Stay tuned. Tomorrow, January 7th, I officially start my new call center job. And um, I'm filled with mixed emotions about it. Um, let's see how it turns out. It's a small call center. I'll be the seventh man of a seven-man team, the call center. And I'm going to use my experience there for future videos here. Let's see if what they told me in the interview was true, that there's only like three systems I've got to learn, learn including Photoshop and their ordering system. That I get my own cubicle with like six-foot-high walls, and I get filing cabinets and the whole thing, the big cubicle instead of the little tiny, little tiny thing that they give you. Um... They didn't really talk about training. It's all on the job training. I think I, I get to sit with somebody and have them show me the ins and the outs of their systems and of their customers. They told me that the call volumes really weren't that bad. Allegedly, I only take maybe 10 to 20 calls a day in the slow time and maybe 30 to 40 in the busy time. The busy time is supposed to start in February, though I've heard Two different busy times. I've heard busy time starts in February. Then I've heard busy time starts in the spring to the summer. So let's see. Um, the initial person that interviewed me said that other people that have worked in this call center environment who come to work at this company in their call center think it's heaven compared to what other call centers have been. That's what, that's what she told me. So we'll see. They've been truthful about the start time. My start time is Monday through Friday. Um, 11 to 7, so I don't have to, training isn't in the morning. Training's not going to be in a basement because there's no basement in this building. Not that I saw anyway. And, but I get to start, my training's going to be during the, the time I was scheduled to work. So I'm happy about that. But I, I, you know, I've got a little bit of mixed emotions about it all because, you know, I made all of these. I made all of these videos about how I hate working in call centers, and here I go working in a call center again. But I personally feel I need to go back to work, and I feel it's time to kind of go back to being just a traditional person. I tried uh, doing the whole artistic thing for many years, and I was pretty successful at it. But I never made the kind of money at it to be able to pay the bills or help me my wife with things. Basically, all the money I made went back into the business. All the money I made went back into promoting my books or promoting my music or promoting um, my photography, things like that. So it was kind of, um, not futile, but it didn't make the kind of money that I'd hoped to make. So I felt it was time to go back to work, kind of, um, even though I've been red-pilled and I don't believe in this whole working thing, there doesn't seem to be any way to avoid it or get away from it. That's all there is to it. little side note, I am going to still be creating. I'm sure you're all just sitting there going, Peter, what about your art? Aren't you going to do your art? Yes, I still have my studio space. I'm still going to be doing photography, writing, music, the whole thing. Um, I'm working with a wonderful model named Brene. Within the next couple of weeks, do some shots with her. I'm going to be working with a few people on a song. I'll be working at a negative, I'm not negative space, but within negative space is a studio called Positive Vibes Recording. I'll be working with um, Isaiah Jackson Carlucci, but I will be creating. But I definitely, I'll always take pictures. I've always either got my o, I, my o phone, my iPhone with me. Um, I may be working with a great violinist that I met at the open mic night by the name of Justin Curry. And Justin, I, I've asked him to play on one of my songs that I'm going to re-record um, at Positive Vibes Recording Studio within Negative Spaces Gallery. And he's a, he's a great violinist. He said he'd be interested in work with me. So I'm going to work on one song and see how that goes. Because I've got the song called South by Southwest that I recorded at home, but I've never been happy with the results of it. So, But yes, I'm going to keep recording. I'm going to keep putting that stuff out there. So me going back to work is, uh, is not the end of my creations. So there you have it. That being said, press one for murder. 
This is my book, Press One for Murder, that I released a few months ago about Jeremy Gant, who works in a call center. Some of his customers turned up missing. They turn up dead. They've taken the room temperature challenge, and the police, the Akron police, think that Jeremy is the culprit of these murders. This book is now for sale. This book is for sale on Amazon in both ebook and paperback. Here's the paperback in all its glory. I'm asking you to buy this book so I don't have to work in a call center again. I've got 1,600 subscribers. If each and every one of you bought a copy of this book, I sold 1,600 copies of it. I'd make... <laughs> I would make $3,000. <laughs> three, three, maybe three grand. <coughs> That'd be wild. It's not a lot of money. So tell your friends, scream it from the roof, rooftops, press one for murder, my book about working in a call center. And um, I'm, you know, I'll work on other books. I've got time to write. I'll still have time to write and stuff, but... Um, a few of you bought the book, and I thank you for buying the book and, and the wonderful reviews you gave me. That's really, really tremendous. But I'll let you know how it goes. Tomorrow's D-Day. And um, I'll let you know how it goes. I'm going to make a video on the way to work, a video on the way home from work. And I'll talk about my experience there. Um, and we'll see what happens. It's all we can do, isn't it? Um, I'm re re um, I'm reorganizing my studio. This is a room in my house. I've got this shelving unit behind me, and I've decided to hang my guitar in there and take out the shelves. I took out the shelves. We may rip this out completely, and I'll put my desk in here or turn it into a closet or something, but we'll see what happens. But anyway, take care. Hope you're having a good weekend, and uh, I'll let you know what happens tomorrow. Bye.